Hello and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm know that the content is useful and promotes it to others. If you don't like it, let me know about it in the comments. If you still don't have a Star Citizen account, use my referral link in the description below or the code on screen to snag yourself some extra starting credits. Now on with the video. So in this video, I'll be showcasing an entry-level mercenary bunker mission. The first thing you'll want to do anytime you join into a server is pick up the mercenary mission, A Call to Arms. This rewards you with AUEC for any hostile enemy kills that have a crime stat. As we're going to be defending a facility against hostiles infiltrating, this applies. So we get any money for the mission and for each kill that we do. So open your Moby Glass and go to the Mercenary tab. Locate a suitable mission. As this video is being recorded on a fresh account, I only have the evaluation mission available. In the mission briefing, it'll detail where the mission will take place. As seen on the screen, this one will be at HDSF Colifax. So we hit the Accept button to pick it up. That'll transfer us to the Accepted tab, which will show us the mission as confirmation. If you don't have any other missions being tracked, then it will auto-track the newly added mission. Otherwise, the Untracked button is seen on the screen, which show Track. By clicking it, you get the HUD information and markers related to this mission. So from this point, we just need to go down to the facility and start the mission. It should also be noted, each planetary zone will have its own security faction and reputation with an accompanying evaluation. So completing an evaluation to unlock the missions for Hurston will not grant you access to the mercenary missions in Microtech. You will still have to do Microtech's evaluation separately. Since these missions are first-person shooter style, the only real requirement is having a ship to get you to the mission location. If you have FPS weapons and ammo, that's a plus. But you can get some once you get there, as you'll see in this video. I'm going in with the bear suit that you get when you first log into the game. As you get closer to the target location, the info panel on the HUD will change to show the hostile count. In some of the missions, this will be a wave and hostile count, or a timer notifying when the next wave will occur. Don't be a scrub like me and forget to put down your landing gear and then spend five minutes wondering why your ship won't stay put. And once you've landed, don't forget to turn off your engines with I before jumping out. Since this mission is a help defend type and it has a hostile count displayed, this means the enemy should have already started spawning. You may hear the friendlies were assisting shooting at them. As we come down the elevator, you can also see some of the AR markers for the friendlies showing up. So since I'm coming in basically with just a spacesuit on, no armor, no weapons, I'm going to come in and take it very slow, as you should in any hostile environment where you don't know what's going on. Crouching to sneak does help because the enemy AI does pick up uh, sound effects, like your steps and whatnot. And uh, you can do a takedown on melee with the middle mouse button. As a takedown in this fashion is non-lethal, it doesn't count towards our hostile counter because they're just unconscious. We need to actually kill them for it to count. We pick up his weapon, and then we'll clear the bottom level here first. We can take this guy's weapon too, and then pick up some of his armor. Usually double clicking the armor uh, will auto transfer it and equip it, uh, but if it has attached items like that med pen, uh, sometimes that doesn't work. You gotta take it off first and then you can double click to transfer it. So now that we're wearing some armor, got a new nice shiny weapon, bottom level should be clear. Got leftover guns from someone else.
Since we did a takedown on this guy, we'll go ahead and terminate him before moving on. As you're going through clearing, make sure you don't shoot the friendlies. Uh, they don't always have an AR marker, but they usually do. If you do end up killing one, you'll instantly fail the mission and they will all go hostile. And the turrets outside will likely blow up your ship before you can get back outside. I should note, uh, what I'm doing here is not exactly the most uh, safe thing to do because an enemy could sneak up on you and take you out. So you probably don't want to be looting um, while there are still hostiles up unless you have someone else with you or you know you're in a safe spot where you can see them coming. Looks like that guy could have snuck down there and took me out. And the AI has been really dumb today. And that's the end of the mission. We are done. Uh, you do have some time to do some looting uh, before the turrets and the enemy, the uh, cops will go hostile, uh, but don't dilly-dally too long. Since there could be many loot boxes sometimes, one tip I can offer is to use a takedown on at least one target and leave them alive but unconscious. Once you eliminate the rest of the enemies, do whatever looting you want. Then when you're done, eliminate the last hostile you left unconscious to complete the mission before leaving. Sometimes the guards are real derps and get themselves taken out. You can then loot their armor and weapons without penalty. Well, I hope this video was helpful in some way. I'll see you around in the next one.